Yeah, good morning and welcome to Good Morning Maria, the extended version of it. And of course, yes, you are tuned in to Radio Maria Kenya Nairobi. This is a Christian voice in your home. And I welcome you to this hour. It is called the Caritas Nairobi Hour. Now listen, Caritas Nairobi talks about the development or rather the program Caritas Nairobi Hour show talks about the kind of development works that the Archdiocese of Nairobi is implementing in Nairobi and in Kiambu counties. We talk about so many programs, actually all programs that Caritas Nairobi has. Today is another Thursday morning. It is Thursday of the second week in ordinary time, 21st of January, the year 2020. We are talking about the Beacon Boys program. Welcome to the show. My name is Billy Beda. I am joined by the chairperson of the Beacon Boys program mentors, and his name is Mr. Anthony Moravi. Now, Anthony Moravi is here to talk to us, not specifically, but as a whole, about the Beacon Boys program. Do you know the Beacon Boys program? What do you know about it? Do you understand it? Is your son among the Beacon Boys program, you know, children, so to say? What is the age group of the Beacon Boys program? I mean, we have a dozen questions this morning to ask the mentor, the chairperson of the mentors, because the Beacon Boys program in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, Mr. Anthony Moravi. Okay. Thank you. A pleasure yes. having me today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Salama. Salama. Okay. Yeah. We are live on Facebook, Radio Maria Kenya, Nairobi. Please like the page and invite your friends to like the page. We are also live on our Facebook page, Caritas Nairobi Facebook page. Like the page and invite your friends to like the page as well. If you have any question whatsoever concerning the Beacon Boys program, something you need to understand, there's something you need to know, and something that is not so clear about the program, please, you can always weigh in. We have Millicent on the other side. She'll be looking at your comments and your questions, and of course, he will share with us later on so we can have um, uh, Anthony Moravi answer for us this morning. You can always go to our Facebook pages and post your question or your concern or really just to weigh in. Welcome to the show, and um, Bon Anthony. Maybe, maybe you tell us about yourself. I think that is, that's <laughs> that's pretty much expected. Fine, that, that's quite okay. My yeah. name, as you as Billy has said, is uh, Anthony Moradi. I'm actually uh, a consultant in various sectors, HR and research. But uh, for this particular program today, as he said, I'm actually here to talk about the Beacon Boys because I happen to be the chairman of the Beacon Boys Mentors in that life in Nairobi. Okay. I've also interacted with the program since the onset, and uh, I'm happy to be part of the Beacon Boys program because it's nothing of that little excitement mm -hmm. as a program. I need to ask you something about mentorship, and maybe before that, you tell us. What is Beacon Boys program? Beacon Boys program is actually a program that uh, was established under the vision of uh, His Holiness uh, Cardinal uh, John Jay, mm -hmm. and uh, the aim was actually to transform the lives of our boys into uh, responsible men in our society. Okay. Of course, we have come a long way in terms of where the Beacon Boys, I mean, where the boy child is in the society today. Yeah. And the whole program actually is based on transforming the lives of our boys into responsible men in our society. Okay. Yeah. That is the main hmm. Yes. When did it start, sorry? Um, 2017 is when the program started. Oh, oh I just started the other day. Yes, I started just the other day. Yeah. But the, the real the actualization into our par in our parishes actually mm -hmm. the journey began in earnest around uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. That is when actually um, the communication was done to all our 114 parishes in Nairobi. Yeah, and uh, we were we actually converged. Uh, you know, every parish had to produce like two two men who could actually be trusted with the facilitation of the mentorship of the boys in each and every parish. Uh -huh. uh, the responsibility basically lies with the Every CMA group in every parish, because every parish should have a CMA and it has mm -hmm. the 114 parishes. So every the, the, the whole matter was trusted with the, the chairman or the uh, actually the board of the CMA. Mm -hmm. And actually 
those are the people who chose uh, those two people to be faint mm-hmm. and we converged at Tarima Ujinga sometime in February. Mm-hmm. Training was done and we were given a manual that mm-hmm. we could follow. That yeah. was in 2015. Mm-hmm. And so we retreated back to our parishes and we started the camp. So we took the boys and of course taking them through the program in terms of the various subjects that were there. Actually, we were Amazing. Yes, yes. So you're in, um, <clears throat> like in 100, all the 114 parishes? Unfortunately, we have not rolled out fully in the, all the 114 parishes. Mm-hmm. We have only managed to cover 46 parishes uh, in the entirety. Mm-hmm. And we hope at least uh, we should be able to, to be able to go to all 114 parishes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. That's, um, that's fine. So, um, Maybe let me ask you something about mentorship. Yes. And um, as a mentor, what do you mean? You, what are, what are you, what, what's, what's your responsibility there? Yes. What do you do in mentoring? Now, definitely knowing where we've come from in terms of um, the boy child mm-hmm. issue, mm-hmm. Uh, let me just um, maybe uh, take you back. Okay. The issue of the boy child uh, has actually raised a lot of concern in our society. Back in uh, in the days, uh, there was a lot of drum beating that was given to the guard. Uh, yet, be through the non government organization, yeah, yeah. the government, and uh, there was this uh, perspective that actually the girl shell was being left behind, mm-hmm. or uh, that kind of thing. And in the quest of actually saving the girl child or bringing her to the limelight, life, mm-hmm. something went wrong. Mm-hmm. All in all, we forgot about the boy. And we thought actually the boy could stand on his own, which was total misconception in terms of the way to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's actually after some time that we realized that uh, the boy child was in the dark and he had been forgotten completely. So when the program started, we had to think of what we need to do to save the boy child because physically he had been forgotten. And this whole program now had to think of various we empower the boy child. I mean, the boy the child, boy child yeah. In regard to maybe social issues and maybe, you know, regaining his self confidence yeah. and standing up mm-hmm. as, you know, as a man, mm-hmm. because even in the Bible, uh, a man is the head of the household, too. Uh, but unfortunately, today, we don't have men who actually can inherit us uh, mm-hmm. after we leave this, mm-hmm. this uh, universe. So that is actually where the, the whole genesis started, that the boy child had been left. And therefore, when we embarked on the, on the program, we had various areas that we needed to cover. These were areas of uh, social, uh, life skills, uh, empowerment, and all the other areas, including uh, religious uh, matters, mm-hmm. how even the culture connects with the religion. Okay. Because this is a program that is actually based within the church. Okay. Yes. Now, that is what you do as a mentor? As a mentor, yes. Yeah. Now, it's to ensure that boys are actually shown the way. Because remember, even in our society, mm-hmm. men have actually completely uh, uh, like dropped their responsibilities as yeah. fathers. Yeah. And uh, as mentors, what we do is these boys, of course, are met in there in the setting of the church. And as I say, this is a program within the Catholic Men Association. And as men, we have taken up the role of now trying to teach these boys of how to become full men in our society. Mm-hmm. Because back at home, we will realize either men are men. Rather, they are not taking up their role in terms of teaching the boy, the boy child, in the right way and in the right manner. And again, back in our society, in African culture, it was the role of the man mm-hmm. to make sure that this boy was actually given the right kind of advice and uh, you know, education in terms of being taught of how to go ahead with his life yeah. and in regard to the culture mm-hmm. and the society. Mm-hmm. And of course, at the end of the day, become like the the inheritor of. And knew what to be the man responsibility in the Catholic Church. Okay. Maybe later on, I'd like you to like just take me through slowly by slowly the program. Exactly. What do you mean when you say it is a program? Yes. What do you do on a daily activity or weekly or monthly or yearly? Yes. Well, maybe you're going to take through yes. that, through that a bit later. I'm going to ask 114 parishes. Yes. Do you have boys from all the 14 parishes. Okay, fine, you may not have enrolled uh, all the parishes, right? Yes. But at least you have, like, do we see boys or we just see men? Because I remember earlier you said we 
they have uh, two um you you are recruiting two men yeah two men in every parish <laughs> in every parish right yes, yes. so do you have like like boys 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 absolutely i mean in every parish <laughs> think of your touch for instance eh? okay. they are boys they are kids yeah, they are many. Oh, yeah. and absolutely that is a, that is what we are looking at okay. if you look at every parish mm-hmm. there is a group in the church setting called the pmc mm-hmm. and of course within the pmc we have the the boys in that group eh? yeah, all the yeah, kids yeah. and those who are the boys that we are targeting mm-hmm. So thinking of, as I've said, the program is under the the, the, the leadership of the CEO yes. as a Catholic organization. We were sent back by the archdiocese to go to our various parishes. It's a very good background, actually, because if every parish can actually take the boys within their church, not just within the church itself, within our churches themselves, mm-hmm. because the program actually, and you know, like it, it in. It, is even asked to go out of our country in the neighborhood because think of it. Actually, you your child, you made your child to be disciplined, and the neighbor's child is not disciplined. What are you trying to do? Mm-hmm. Of course, tomorrow there'll be that influence coming yeah. back again. Absolutely. So we actually look at the program as a program that includes everybody in the society. And when we talk of inclusion, we didn't look at other religions. We didn't want just to do the program to be a Catholic program. So even if a Muslim comes in or is somebody from another church, he is much, very much welcome into the program. So thinking of the 114 parishes, like I've said, we are okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. <laughs> I think I like that. Yeah, it's not only for Catholics. No, no, no. We are trying to transform the life. A of PCA boy can they join? They can join. SCK. Redeem. This what? boy who's Lutheran. Lutheran. A- anybody. Nazila Kanisa Zingine. Let me just say, uh, how do you call them? It's, they have names. I don't know. Um, my family and God church. Any any of those. Anyone can yeah. join. Uh, look, cool. uh, even uh, Muslim, you say. Even that. Muslim, yeah. We've had actually cases of Muslim boys joining the boys. Okay. Yes, in various parishes. Okay. Yeah, and I'll tell you another interesting story later. Okay. Uh, of uh, a family that actually was almost transformed into Catholic because of the way the program. Because they, they, the boys started lying. So much amazing. At some point, they actually invited the parents to come and see what they do. Have you gotten Millicent to write something about that? Absolutely, it's on. It's on. It's in, 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 She's written something about that. Exactly, it's in our news. We've never. I did just saw my yoga. Yes, it is there. No, I'll take on this. I'll take on this. By the way, it is. We it are is. just about to go for a break because I cannot stomach that. I can't imagine. It's such a very good story, but we've not heard about it. Have you heard about it? That there is a family that almost converted from their religion. To Christianity, actually to Catholic, because of their boy who was in the Beacon Boys. Tell us more. Um, like I said, that that's just one of the stories. Okay. Because we, we have seen a lot of uh, good things that have come of it. Okay, that is just one of them. Mm-hmm. But uh, beyond that, we've even had uh, some mothers who are actually like in a setting. You know, in the church setting, we have groups. We have the Jumuiyas. Yes. There's a small Christian community. Yes. We also have um, things like uh, CW, which is a Catholic women's group. Actually, in my parish, there's one lady actually who was so much encouraged by the Beacon program mm-hmm. and the boy being in the program that at some point, actually, she joined. She joined. She had to join up at that point because she was had a challenge. She joined the CW. That's As amazing. we see here, she actually is in CWA. Is it? That's another That's story. Amazing. And I That's can a... tell you a lot of stories mm-hmm. of good mm-hmm. things that have come out, out of this program. Okay. Yes, yes. That's good. So maybe uh, I just need to ask this one question because I can see uh, my directors telling me to take a break. Like, when you get, what do these men do? First of all, you said two men in every parish, something like that? Yeah, those are actually, when I say two men in every parish, mm. the purpose actually was to run the program within the parish. Okay. Rather, because now when you, when you get the training, it means you roll from, from one point in terms of. Uh, uh, you know the, the mentorship. So when we go the training, including, uh, I mean, uh, including my colleague, we went back to the parish and we started the program. Uh, in terms of now teaching the boys to the manual, or rather following the manual, in regards to all the aspects of life, mm-hmm. cultural, um, life skills, the cultural, I mean, there's all those subjects. Yeah. Uh, mentorship. And basically, we are doing this alongside the in our parishes, yeah. and, uh, any other person can join us. Not it's not just a program for the, the, the two men. We always invite men. Like even during um, our meetings, for instance, 
always talk about the program and we always even bring boys tomorrow we want this and not just that in case we happen to have even like because of our meeting we're going to maybe having a particular service or mass we always have them so they can see their fathers actually doing something for the child and therefore we incorporate them in the service no you need to repeat that I yes. like that you say Sometimes when men meet, see men meet, you invite a few boys. Not a few. <laughs> Those who are available, they oh, yeah. join us. They, they sit join. there and they hear what you're talking about. Maybe it's about our programs. Maybe it's about our projects in the parish. Maybe uh -huh. it's about everything and anything. Eh? Mm -hmm. So they'll actually learn from them. Because tomorrow, remember, these boys are being mentored to be the, the men of tomorrow. And when you're serving in church, you do that as well? Absolutely. I can show you a lot of them. You know? okay. All the functions that actually... Of CNA, we make sure they bring them in. Just the other day, I was actually, um, we were launching our technical in um, and yeah, 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 and actually, yeah. if you can go to the the books about the one mm -hmm. and the eminence was there mm -hmm. at the beacon, they had to come and see what the men are doing. Oh, and it was such a colorful. I can imagine tomorrow. The same boys are going to be in that technical school again tomorrow. If you have an app project in their time, they'll actually be able to say their fathers did something. Mm -hmm. So, tomorrow we'll leave them with something mm -hmm. that they can actually like copy or rather start something else. We did the technical school, they can think of something else, maybe mm -hmm. the university, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we, we need to make them to be responsible, not just to be responsible, mm -hmm. but we need to show them what. Don't you just like how Moredi is explaining this? The Beacon Boys program. Now, Moredi is the chairperson of the Beacon Boys program's mentors in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. And today we're talking about the Beacon Boys program. Do you have a question? Let me just see. We have a number of them, but of course, Millicent is going to uh, to react on that. We have uh, Kanyang Edward Josephine. Thank you so much. I can see you there and you're liking this. Rosella Wauma, thank you so much for watching. Saying good morning, Billy, Mr. Anthony, Asante Sana, is a thank friend you. of yours. Like, oh, nah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Rosella Wauma. Indeed, may God bless you. Please keep sharing, keep following, keep watching. We are live on Facebook, Radio Maria Kenya, Nairobi. We're also live on our Facebook page, Caritas Nairobi. Please like the pages, invite your friends to like the pages as well. Share this, watch this, follow this. This is Caritas Nairobi Hour. We take a short break. We will be right back.